So tell me about your journey as an entrepreneur and as a female entrepreneur, which we know there's not as many of. My journey started as an entrepreneur when I was 15 years old. And you know when you're young and you're confused and the world to told you who you should be and how you should be, you're just following the rules and the guidelines of these things. But as I got older and um, I started discovering myself more and more, I started unlearning everything I was told, how I should be, who I should be, and started to discover myself. And when I started discovering myself and I went on this um, self-discovery journey towards uh, myself and towards spirituality, that's where I became the best version of me and that helped me become the best version of a leader in my work, in my family, in my relationships and everything. So being a good person isn't just for the world and for the people around you, it's for yourself, it's for work, it's for so many things and that has been my biggest transformation. So how do you manage stress? Like you own multiple businesses, you, you do many, you wear many hats. Yeah. So how do you manage um, stress with all the hats that you're wearing? For me, I don't take everything so deeply. Like I don't like when I'm when I'm facing failure or a burnout or anything like that. I don't take it in so deeply. You know, I I say okay, did something wrong or I'm burnt out right now. Um, let's get better and, and let's get back in action. So for me, I don't take anything so deep and let it affect me and affect my performance and um, I always take time for myself always yes I do I have nine companies and I'm a public speak, speaker and a single mom and how I see time is that time doesn't exist it's just time is an illusion that tells you when you should sleep when you should wake up how you manage your time it will make, is what makes your life different. Some people have a nine to five job and then their life is over after that. Some people have like no jobs and they have businesses and it's like, let's say five to 12 a.m. and then their life is over. And then you have these 24 hours and it's up to you how to use it. And that's what makes our life different and our results different. So that's how I see it. And I don't stress myself a lot. I love that. And what would be your advice to Emirati, Khaliji, any woman um, that is going on her own self-discovery journey and maybe thinking about becoming an entrepreneur? Before you start anything, before you start thinking of entrepreneurship or innovation or anything, I think the first thing you should work out, work on is yourself. Um, you need to release yourself from the heavy weight of society, their expectation, the stereotype, how you should be, what you should be, and you should just makes you happy. I think it's a given right for us to live freely and to be happy and everyone is allowed to practice it no matter what your gender is, who you are or what you are, you have these two given rights and you should just practice them. And once you release yourself from these societal shackles on your feet, you're going to be free to run as fast as you can and to be whoever you want to be. So release it and then start your journey because if you start your journey and you're still shackled to the ground, you're going to get so lost and confused, burnt out, fail, fa fail even more than you should. So yeah, that, I, I've been liberated when I did that. Very insightful. I think a lot of women would benefit from your advice. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi guys, you are watching DXB Today.